Hello, my name is Chris Beard from Chris Beard Images. Welcome to this first video on photography. We're here in beautiful Wales on what's called the Mac Loop. This is called the Bulk. Let's take a look at this beautiful scenery. Blue sky, puffy white clouds, sunshine, fantastic. Not many places, better places to be. We've been here for about five hours now. We've had sleet, rain, hail, howling wind, freezing cold. Those are some of the things you have to put up with. But we're here today photographing military planes flying over. You can see the valley behind them. They come through here maybe about two, three hundred feet high, fly across the valley here, and off out. Um, just take a look at some of the images that we've already taken this morning. What equipment are you using? I've got a full frame camera here, Canon 5D Mark III, excellent for this, um, coupled with a 70-200 f4 lens. The settings I'm using, what about f5.6, 100 ISO and 1 250th of a second. And what I'm aiming to do is the planes are coming around, I'm panning with them. I'm panning to keep the plane sharp focus, the background to have some kind of blur. That helps the plane to stand out a little bit more against the background. So, let's set to work and let's wait for the next plane. Yep. You can hear a sound one coming now. Distance. Take these back in to uh, our processing workshop back at home and see what we've got. The, the technique for doing this work is we want to keep the background out of focus so we, we use a fairly slow shutter speed. We could go up to about a thousandth of a second but then the plane would be sharp and our background would be sharp. I want our plane to stand out from the background so I've slowed the shutter speed right down to about one two hundredth of a second and I'm panning, holding the camera steady, and trying to move from the waist and pan round with the plane, keeping it sharp. It's a technique where we have a lot of missed shots. We don't get every shot sharp, but the more we practice, the better we get. Let's have a look at some of the images I've just taken. 